Hello, everybody, and welcome to the NNL Pro Tournament. The path to pro begins here. I'm Alex Cunningham alongside William Marchese for this first round matchup between Caleb Bergstrom and Nolan LaJoy. Will, this is the first matchup on the men's side of the tournament, and after that matchup that we just had with the women, it is going to be a tough act to follow. Absolutely. All 16 of the competitors who will be competing in the pro tournament have brought their A game. And with two great names in today's match, if they are as good as I expect it to be, we're going to have a very good tournament overall. I can't wait. Well, let's tell you how it's going to work. Each athlete has recorded a two-minute grip gauntlet from their home facilities, and it is up to you and only you to determine who will be advancing based on who had the better grip gauntlet on the criteria of creativity, variety of obstacles, difficulty, and wow factor. That's right. And remember, everyone, this is not a popularity contest. I repeat, not a popularity contest. You are the judge and jury when it comes to determining who had the better performance on their grip gauntlet. And I know these are going to be two popular athletes who you know at home. But just a reminder, let's see our athletes who are competing in this first round matchup. Nolan LaJoy is among the few athletes that can call themselves a world champion, bursting onto the scene at the 2019 championship in Hartford in the young adult division. But he's had a stellar elite career too, making stage three at last year's world championship and racking up four wins and eight podiums so far in season six. He currently finds himself in the top 10 in points and is currently in a world's qualifying position in New England. Caleb Bergstrom is the only adult athlete to defeat stage one at each of the last three world championships. Last season, he was one of five athletes who made it to the edge of dreams, finishing just off the podium. But he also claimed the world's strongest ninja title. He's a consistent force in the regular season as well, He's in the top five in power rankings for both this and last season, and winning three competitions in each of the last three seasons. Will, we have two young guns in this matchup, but they are strong. Absolutely. Caleb Bergstrom making a name for himself the past couple of years. And Nolan Joy is a name that I have mentioned quite a few times this season on Ninja Lab. And I know both of them are perfectly capable of putting up some great performances. And they both got deep into stage three in Greensboro last year. So I cannot wait to see what they're going to put up. Let's not waste any more time. Nolan is the lower seed, so he'll go first. Mm -hmm. Hi, my name's Nolan LaJoy, and this is my grip gauntlet for the NNL Pro Tournament. We're back at Vitality, where we saw Annie Herman's gauntlet a few days ago, but this is quite a bit of a diversion. He's going right for the vertical limit. Wow, that is a strong start right there. I'd love to know how small those ledges are, but even if they're big ledges, it's still a very hard move to do. They are only about nine millimeters i think at world oh. last year on the edge of dreams going for yeah. salmon ladder i like it next to flywheel that is an unstable flight <laughs> good variety though right off the bat yeah i I'm like looking, it a lot i'm looking forward to seeing what he has in store next looks like we got some wing ding action all again. right we'd love to see it I absolutely love to see it. Bit of a different environment, though. There's no screaming audience like Addy had <laughs> last week. <laughs> and, like... and, we got, and we have that glorious creek. I love it. Taking a bit of an extra swing there, maybe. Now headed for some regular laches. Yeah, that surprised me. I thought he was going to go for a third wing ding, but he's going a different direction onto doorknobs. That might have been a last minute audible, too. But I like that he's doing some static grip here. On these yep. doorknobs. Let's see where he goes now. Looks like Oh, it's Ooh, pegs. Oh, he's going he's going straight up pegboard style pegs. And this is taxing. It's a lot of swinging, a lot of movement from one arm. Also, you need accuracy as he just displayed as he missed one of those holes. And, and again, he another one. Oh, Oof. careful, Nolan. Get it in there. there Good job. Go. Unfortunately, it's going to cost him a little bit of time. Yeah, he's down to about 15 seconds now. Moves on to a ring toss. 
Let's see where he goes from here if he has the time. Last couple seconds, he needs a big finale. Going for the ladder. Come on. A little bit more, but I don't know that he has the time. And that's and it. And it's over. Okay. Yeah, it uh, looks like that I was the... He, I, think he cu I think he cut out right at two minutes. Yeah, that was the two-minute cutoff. And it, you know, unfortunately, it looked like he might have lost a little bit of time on those pegs, perhaps preventing him from doing a, a type of big finale that he might have wanted to. But overall, very impressive, very strong start with the cliffhanger vertical limit. And I'm looking forward to seeing how he will do in future rounds if he makes it to the future rounds. And we said right off the top, variety. And that was really the name of the game with Nolan. There was a lot of swinging. There was a lot of tough grip. There was a lot of easier grip that was maybe a little bit more taxing, especially like with the pegs and the doorknobs. I really loved the variety out of Nolan. And I cannot wait to see what Caleb is going to do in his grip gauntlet. Absolutely. All right, let's do it. Let's see what Caleb has in store. Hello, NNL and friends. My name is Caleb Bergstrom, and this is my submission video for the National Ninja League Pro Gauntlet Series. Pro tournament, Caleb. Anyway, uh, we are at Jungle Gym, which, by the way, just became an NNL gym. Congratulations. Hey. Welcome to the crew over in the Tampa area. And I can't even talk. He's going so fast. He's already done a cliffhanger and a salmon ladder. Wow, he is moving along, going apart the support beams into some huge rock, huge lache that he just linked. Whoa, that was some distance right there. Now we got a bar hop going on, an ascending bar hop at that. Caleb making the most of his time. Now he's gonna do a diagonal jump. I don't even see what he caught. I think it was a sideways bar, perhaps. It looks like a it looks like a, a thick trapeze bar. It looks like. He had a squirrel and now a nunchuck. He is all over this gym right there now. There's so much stuff in this gym, and he is bound and determined to use all of it. Onto and some now, uh, angry avians, if we will. <laughs> I see what you did there. Thank you. And now we got a bit of a... Oh! oh wow. Was not expecting that. That was That was caught me off guard. I like that a lot. Yeah, me too. Using the sides of the uh, slingshot holds there. Going to the rope, I would assume. No? No. Yeah. There oh, we go. Now rope. he's getting set up for the rope. We got some uh, Iris Jig music in the background. I hope we don't get copyrighted for that. Yeah, me too. A little trouble with that rope. He does have some time left, though. Let's see what he does with this. And where he's going to and the landing. There we go. Oh, he's exhausted. I yeah, am. Wow. Too. Look at that. <laughs> and the the excellent ending there. I love it. Man, that is Woo. that is a man who put himself through a gauntlet. And you can see in his face at the very end there. <laughs> big ups to the cameraman for zooming in at the very end there. You could see the exhaustion and just how much these upper body courses can take out even some of the best ninjas. And I mean I'm not the best commentator in the world, but like I have some experience. I could not keep up with him because he was doing so much. And that's a good thing. Like that's a compliment to Caleb and how much he was able to squeeze into his two minute grip. Column. I will say though, it did feel a little bit shorter than, than two minutes though. So I, it, I don't know if it's 45. Yeah. It looked like he maybe could have, fit in a little bit more but maybe he just didn't plan it out this seemed like a very pre-planned stage and was more about doing something that'll take about two minutes than necessarily going for the full two minutes if you know what he, i mean he probably went faster than he thought he was gonna go and that's what did it yeah that's that's a very possible situation all right well we're not going to tell you how to vote but i know two people who are let's send it over to lucio batista and henry Ferrar. All right, gentlemen, we have two very impressive uh, gauntlets in, in order to start out the male side of our tournament. Let's start with Nolan. Lucio, sir, how are you? And what were your biggest takeaways of Nolan's run? Wow, I'll just say that was an epic way to start off our male competitors with those runs. That was amazing. Um, yeah, Nolan. Coming out of the gate with the cliffhanger vertical limit combo, 
super impressive right away. He had so much diversity and grip. Um, it, it kept me on my edge of the seat the entire time watching it, just really excited for what he was about to do next. He was switching directions. He was, he was doing so many things. The, the only thing that was a little um, askew for him was the accuracy on the pegs. Um, but otherwise, I think that, that's maybe where he got caught up at the end and lost his timing. But, man, that was, that was all around a great run. Really impressed. Do, do you think we would have seen something special for him if he had a little bit more time on the clock? Knowing Nolan and like competing against him, he can hang for days. And I'm sure he definitely could have put together another incredible thing at the end there. Maybe if he had some extra time, looked like he was setting something up. So I wish we could have got to see it. All right. And now moving on to Henry Ferrarin. Henry, uh, what would you say was the uh, most impressive part of Nolan's run? And maybe the part that he should change up if he were to make it to the next round. Yeah. Um, so obviously uh, kind of a, the beginning uh, to answer your question is the, the very start was amazing. You right. right on the vertical limit, moving giant moves, vertical limits, one of the hardest obstacles in Ninja. Um, that was really impressive, but it was almost to me like he, he pressed that nitrous button at the beginning of the race. And it kind of died down a little bit. You went, it it ended up with the difficulty level being like a 9.5 out of 10. And then it was like, okay, a normal lache, a normal lache. And then if you're going to do pegs, um, go up, go down, just straight across. Um, Not that impressed by it. But again, the beginning was amazing. But but just an example of just like blowing that that nitrous right at the start and kind of not having anything left for the uh, for the end. So, so a little too front loaded for your taste. Exactly. All right, Henry, moving on to Caleb's run. What were your main takeaways there? That is how you do a grip call it. Wow. Uh, start off with the cliffhanger super fast. I mean, I was just enjoying what, like watching how fast he was moving. Um, literally the only thing I was disappointed is that he, he went for about a minute 45, but uh, like you guys mentioned before, I think I think everyone thought it would be two minutes worth, and he just zoomed through it all. Um, so obviously, if he had a plan B, it's like always have something left for for the rest of the time and just keep going, um, no matter what it is. So a little disappointing with that, but but to me, that was an amazing grip goal, and you had a huge variety. It really showcased the obstacles at uh, at Jungle Gym. Um, but uh, big big wow to uh, to Caleb. That that was really dynamic. Some of the moves were huge, huge laches, and uh, and and he he linked a bunch of them too. It was really impressive. Right, right, all right, uh, Lucio. Uh, should Caleb have called an audible and tried to add something at the very end there? And if so, what would he have added? So based on from what I saw, it looked like if he had gotten a bigger pullback on that rope, it would have led him into their kind of devil step area where they have like their pill hoppers set up and things. I've seen them have some pretty cool, like magnetic things that drop there. So personally looking at how efficiently he went through the entire course, um, I think he had more gas in the tank. Caleb's an absolute monster. And I think he could have crushed him a couple of things there on the devil steps, just put it in like that last little last ditch cherry on the top. Um, I would like to add, though, he also did do flying bar, and he did it really efficiently. And throwing in an obstacle with a high margin of error, big props, because it's not something that you're just static on. I mean, you could be strong and hang for days, but to go for something like that is is super risky, and I really like that a lot. I just want to point out that Nolan also, he did a uh, salmon ladder, which also has a margin for error in terms of accuracy. Not quite the same as the flying bar, but still, there's always that risk, so props to Nolan, too. Um, so absolutely, absolutely. So Lucio, uh, this is very quickly, very simple question. Caleb Nolan, who wins in your mind? I'm going Caleb on this one. Absolutely blew my mind on a lot of that. So fast, Caleb, you got this one. All right, Henry, same question to you, sir. As much as as I hate to agree with Lucio, um, Caleb, hands down in this one. And, and again, nothing to take away from Nolan, man. He's, that is a super impressive athlete. Um, the, the vertical limit start was, was amazing and impressive, but, but just watching the two uh, grip gauntlets, it's hands down, Caleb. 
All right. So according to our experts, the favorite seed is indeed the winner this time around. But here's the question to all of you. Do you agree? You have the power to prove you wrong, them wrong if and only if you disagree with them. Make sure you vote for who you thought was the winner of this competition between Caleb and Nolan. Make sure you click the link in the description down below in order to go to the poll, cast your vote, let your voice be known, and decide who will be moving on to the semifinals. Remember, not a popularity contest. It is based on who had the better grip gauntlet. Personally, I think I might have gone Nolan, actually. Wow. But it is it doesn't matter what we think. It only matters what nope. you think. So make exactly. sure you make your voice heard and stay tuned for future episodes of the NNL Pro Tournament. See you next time. Bye.